Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about reasons to stop boozing. Now, if you're a normal drinker, then you won't be watching this, I shouldn't think, because why would you want to? Because you wouldn't see yourself as having the problem. Of course, there are some who consider that there's no such thing as a normal drinker because anybody who chooses to ingest a poison can't be considered normal. Well, the person I'm thinking of is Alan Carr. Not Alan Carr, the irritating camp bloke glasses, but the other Alan Carr who wrote a book on how to stop drinking. He argues that if you knew somebody who ingested strychnine, uh, which is a poison in case you don't know, on a regular basis, you wouldn't sort of see that as normal behaviour. You would think he probably needed psychiatric help. And yet we ingest alcohol, which is a poison, and think it's normal. It, it's, it's not normal to drink poison, is it? You know, if you got the bleach out from under the sink and had a swig of that every now and again, you know, nobody would say that as normal. Of course, it would probably make you immediately quite ill with that. Um, <laughs> but alcohol makes you ill. I mean, the first time people drink alcohol, generally, it makes them ill. But, you know, we persevere, don't we? And eventually, get used to it. And some of us can tolerate a massive amount of alcohol. Um, I mean, I used to drink a bottle of vodka every day. I mean, I'm not talking a massive bottle, but a bottle, nevertheless. So basically, first reason is it's a poison. Second reason, alcohol takes away your confidence. Yeah, it takes it away. It don't give you away, it takes it away. Because that's the reason a lot of people drink. Um, it was certainly part of the reason I drank. Because I felt I was more confident. I could talk to anybody. I could be the life and soul of the party. Or annoying, obnoxious git, more like. Um, but what he was doing was numbing my senses. It was numbing the anxiety. Numbing the fear, the inhibitions, the self-consciousness. It wasn't giving me confidence. Hellfire. If alcohol gives you confidence, then I should be the most confident person in the world. The amount I drink. I learned to be more confident when I stopped drinking. Because when you face situations without that crutch, because it does become a crutch, then you gain confidence from that. And it's a frightening prospect for some people, certainly if you've been addicted to alcohol for a long time. Thought of doing anything without it can seem really frightening. But you have to decide what you want from life, you know. Do you want to live in fear? Do you want to live with anxiety? And all the health issues that come with drinking regularly. Or do you want to be free from that? I personally like being free. Reason number three you'll stop talking shite. Well, when you're pissed, you know, I mean, if you don't drink and you talk shite, I can't help with that, I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> but I'm talking about the shite you talk when you're pissed. You'll stop waking up the next day thinking, oh my God, what did I say? What did I do? You know, it all seems great at the time, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I'm having a great time, yeah, yeah. I'm saying whatever I want to whoever I want, it's great. Next day, oh my God, it's a terrible feeling, terrible. It was for me anyway, because that's not who I want to be. I don't want people to look at me and think, what a piss head, and look down on me as a person. You don't want that. Do you want that? That doesn't make you feel good about yourself, does it? Reason number four you'll improve your mental health I've done another video on depression and alcohol when you drink on a regular basis it doesn't help your mental health um, going back to the confidence thing and, and, and feeling anxious and afraid and all those things alcohol makes those things worse 
So if you suffer from depression or anxiety and you've got an alcohol issue, you need to give it up. If you want to get well, if you've got a chance of getting well, you have to give it up. And it's hard because we convince ourselves that alcohol is helping. And it's not, it's so not. Well, like I say, I'm talking from experience here. Reason number five, which is linked to things I've already said. But you'll learn to deal with life on life's terms. And that, that can be scary for people. But you'll learn to deal with your emotions. Potentially you will, if you choose to, because you don't need to drink or take drugs or do anything to avoid feeling your feelings and dealing with your emotions, because um, we can do that anyway. You know, it's called denial, isn't it? You know, which is um, a defense mechanism that we all have. And we don't need alcohol for that. But when you deal with life, when you stop avoiding life and avoiding situations, you become emotionally more robust. You become stronger. You stop living in fear. Because who wants to live in fear? I don't. A reason number six. You'll save money. Which might not be a motivating factor, but you know, it's it's not cheap to drink. Certainly if you go out drinking in pubs it isn't anyway. You could save that money. We say this. We never do it, do we? But you know, potentially you could save that money and do something constructive with it, something that's not damaging. Uh, that's assuming you don't take up a cocaine habit instead. Reason number seven. Life will potentially be more interesting. I know years ago when I stopped, um, stopped drinking. Oh, when I was thinking about stopping drinking, I was thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? I'm going to be so bored. My life entailed drinking. I mean, it was a bottle of wine, which these days probably don't seem that excessive, but it was enough to get me fairly well oiled, so excessive enough. But I'd do that every night of the week and watch my soaps. And that was kind of my routine. And I thought, if I give up alcohol, I'm going to be so bored. I mean, my God, how boring is that? And the thing is, life got more interesting. And it's more interesting still now, because there's a big wide world out there. When we drink, we just drink. But when we don't drink, we can do lots of things. It's like I've got, you know, I've got, I can do this, which... I enjoy doing starting a health blog so it's things that are just much more interesting more productive potentially might help people there's just you know so many benefits to doing the things that I'm doing now compared to getting pissed every night yeah big wide world out there drinking every day is boring it is reason number eight it's a bit of a silly one really but um, you get to feel superior <laughs> and you know, you know when you go out to the pub and you sit there sober, as well as being bored probably, you, you can also feel superior. When you're watching other people making a tit of themselves, getting very loud, laughing at things that are clearly not funny, um, all that sort of thing. It's good to have that sense of, wow, I'm so glad that isn't me. I mean, I say it's superior tongue-in-cheek because that sounds like I'm being really judgmental and of course I'm the last person to judge anybody. But it's nice, it's nice not to be that person making a tit of yourself. Annoying people. To sit there and be in control. And then to go home, go to bed, wake up next day without a hangover. Without feeling like you're going to die because I felt like that many times and being able to remember it all and knowing that you haven't said some shite that's really upset somebody or pissed somebody off it's just it's much better it's so much better 
anyway if you've got any suggestions anything you want to add to this you know your reasons for not boozing that'd be great put them in the comment section if you want to see more videos from me you can subscribe um, give me some encouragement <laughs> I know I need to be more um, consistent with these videos and I'm working on that um, but any encouragement helps me because sometimes you know I can think does anybody watch these videos does anybody give a shit <laughs> so it'd be nice if I got a bit of encouragement but I'm going to do them anyway regardless so thank you for watching and popping by and uh, I hope you found this informative anyway leave a comment and I'll um, get back here and that's it really so adios